Hey y'all. So I'm just gonna sit right here. Let's close this so y'all don't have to see my, um, y'all don't have to see my washing machine and stuff. All right, let's see. Okay. I'm going to just sit right here for a minute and see if any of y'all want to hop on. I know people are at work. So, um, I'm making samples. And I wanted to show you what I'm doing. And I'm thinking, if y'all will say hello when you hop on so I know who's watching. Do y'all want me while I'm live? Or maybe I should do this another day. Maybe tomorrow. Hi, Hannah. Tomorrow, would you guys like me to go live in here and show y'all how I make my labels? Would y'all like me to go live tomorrow in this group page and show you guys just kind of like how you can get on and on Canva and do this if you want. Or I use Avery. I'm going to be honest, Avery is much easier for me. Okay, so tomorrow I will put on my to-do list to go live in here and y'all can watch the replay because I always, um, I also have a YouTube channel that's called The Scent Warriors. Um youtube channel and every live that i do in here i post over there so just in case some people like youtube better i don't know why but um anyways okay so tomorrow i'll show y'all how i do my labels so i will come up with something else that i want to um make tomorrow for like send outs for next month because this month i'm doing winterberry apple tea counter clean winterberry apple tea um, sugar scrub because I ordered some when they were on sale and I've never sampled sugar scrub. Don't be like me. Do not be like me. Make sure that you are sampling new things and things that you've never thought to sample. Make sure to do that because I've never sampled that before and no wonder I don't have people that buy it because <laughs> guess what? Okay, y'all are awesome. Thank you. If you're sampling things, I promise you Counter clean is one of the number one things in Scentsy Fresh that I always sample. But what I do is I rotate what I do when I sample things. So like this month is going to be counter clean, the um, sugar scrub, and then of course the bring back my bars um, wax samples. Next month, because we are going to be launching spring and summer, I'm going to do samples of the new spring and summer wax. But I'm also getting the new spring and summer laundry in. The new spring and summer um, clean bundles in. So next month, I think I'm going to do one of the washer whiffs, if it comes with washer whiffs. But I'm going to try to do the new scents next month so that they will want to like get on and grab them. Because it's going to be February and most likely people are going to start transitioning to spring and summer in March. So that's why we like... Since he's always like a month ahead of the game, if y'all have noticed that. So, this is how I do mine. So, I order everything on Amazon. Let me grab these. Whoop. These, I thought were plastic and they came glass. I normally do plastic ones. Um, but, we're going to test out the glass ones because I accidentally ordered glass. Um, glass ones. And, these have the spray. So, I use these for counter clean and Scentsy Soak. Or, no, Scentsy Soak. Scentsy Fresh. That's the only things that I use these for, since, uh, Counter Clean and Scentsy Fresh, okay? Then I grab these bags. I use these bags for everything. I actually need to order more of these, but I use these for wax samples to put these in. Um, you can use these for anything. You can even put washer whiffs down in here as well. So that's how I do my washer whiffs. I put them in bags instead of like finding something fancy. I just put them in there. Um, a new thing that I'm going to do is anybody that orders washer whiffs or Scentsy Soak from me, I just ordered, and y'all don't have to do this because I'm being extra, but on Amazon, they have these little mini, they're called mini wooden spoons, and they're little dipping spoons. They're perfect to send to your customers either for washer whiffs or Scentsy Soak. I got them more for Scentsy Soak because the Scentsy Soak doesn't come with anything to like dip it out, and I want... Anybody that starts to order Scentsy Soak for me, I'm going to put that in their in their goodie bag so that they have one so that when they buy Scentsy Soak, they have something to scoop it out with. I thought it would be pretty cute, and I love all things wooden. So, anyway, so what I do is I unscrew these. These are called tattoo bottles because this they put, like, their solution to clean their um, tattoo guns. That's what, that's what these are. So, you pour your counter clean in here, 
and you and this makes it so easy I got this from another consultant actually one of our leaders sh shared this with us and it's mess free so you just fill it almost to the top and also you can get bigger ones of these sometimes I order larger ones really just depends which ones are on sale what all do you put in a goodie bag all right so you put this in here or you could also take your label and wrap it around here as well. So we're gonna put this in this bag, seal it, and then you just take your label, sticky labels, and put it on top. Now, if you don't have a printer or you don't have a way to make labels like this, take a marker, a Sharpie, and write on here whatever you're sampling you don't it doesn't have to be fancy your customers don't care about fancy i promise you they don't care they th they just care that you th you're thinking about them and that you're sending them a sample trust me so that's how you do those okay um so in my goodie bags it's different it depends on how much they i do mine based on how many times they order hi sydney and my goodie bags are also based on kind of how much they spend um, because I've had a couple of customers, like when I try to do giveaways and things, they only order when I do giveaways and they spend like, this is so, okay, listen, I had someone one time literally order a scent circle that was part of, listen, clearance for a dollar 80. She ordered one scent circle because I did a giveaway for like a free wax bar. She ordered a scent circle. For $1.80 and spent $6 on shipping. I was like, are you flipping kidding me? That is the dumbest thing. <laughs> I'm like, I just don't understand people. But, so, so she just spent like $8 on a dang scent circle when, I don't know why she did it, but because she got something. Because she was getting something free for me is what it was. But anyways, so if they spend like $25 or less, and they only purchase one time, I will put a scent, everybody gets a scent circle, so they'll get a scent circle, and then whatever, whatever um, products I'm sampling. So this month, they're gonna get a Winterberry Apple Tea Counter Clean, a Winterberry Apple Tea um, Scrub, and then I'm gonna give them at least two different scents in the Bring Back My Bars, okay? Now, for people that spend $50 or more, um, they're going to get a scent circle. And I usually will give them a wax bar or um, what else have I sampled out? I did room spray one time and one of my customers room sprays because FedEx and stuff doesn't care or UPS doesn't care. Um, it got broken so she couldn't use it, which I felt really bad. Um, I also like to do the scent packs. Scent packs are really good because they're not that expensive. And you can really, you can do anything with a scent pack. You can hang them in your car. You can hang them in, um, in your trash can. You can hang them in your closets. You can put them in your dresser drawers, everywhere. So scent packs are amazing. If y'all didn't know that, now you know. You can hang them in your laundry room. If I know someone that um, has wall fans and they're a repeat customer and they order and they're one of my customers that orders two or three times a week, um, sometimes I'll send them a pack of pods. And usually it's ones that I get on sale. So I, that's why when they do clearance sales and stuff, I try to grab things for my customers. Um, diaper Genie. Yes, they're great for a Diaper Genie. Girl, my, my kids are... <laughs> older so I don't even my son's force so I don't I didn't even think of that but yeah behind the toilet behind the toilets in the bathrooms scent circles or um, scent packs are really good for that hi Debbie so I was just showing off these are the samples of the counter clean that I'm doing and I accidentally ordered glass containers instead of plastic. They had them on sale on Amazon everything I get is on Amazon and if y'all want my link tree app uh, link tree link i will send it to you guys and you can go to my link tree click on amazon favorites and it's under business supplies and i have everything that i've ever ordered for my business on there um like the crinkle cutter to cut your wax everything all the bags all the i do bubble mailers um to send all my stuff in 
And I try to do the six by 10 because I've accidentally ordered smaller ones and I can't get as much stuff in there and they're really hard to mail. So I do six by 10 and I ship everything, you guys. I ship everything from my house. Um, I use pirateship.com. It's cheaper than going to the post office. I have a little scale that I bought from Amazon. It was like 22 or $23. I sent my package. This is what I do. I put all of their stuff in their goodie bag, right? Put it all in the goodie bag write their name on the bag and then I do everybody's and then when I go in there to ship stuff I usually do 8 to 10 a day because that's how many will fit in my mailbox and I hate asking my mailman to come pick up anything because he is the worst mailman ever he's so lazy I'm, I'm being honest um and he's really hateful so and he's not old either that's the thing so I use pirateship.com type in their information, weigh it, ship it, and usually my bags range from anywhere from like 250 to the most expensive I've ever spent on sending a bag was probably like $8 and that was during Christmas. That was and I sent out some like really good goodie bags for my top VIP customers that that like ordered three and four times that month in November. So um, spoil your customers. They will be repeat customers, um, if you can. But if you're not able to do what I do, that's okay. Literally, if you can only send samples, just send samples. Another cheap way of sending, yes, I'll send that to you. Another cheap way of sending stuff is getting thank you cards, getting a scent circle, Write a message on the scent circle like, thank you so much for supporting my business. Um, put that in the thank you card. Put in a couple of felt wax samples in there and send it. All you have to do is put a stamp on it for like, four, how much is a stamp? I don't even know, 40 something cent, but you can get a book of stamps. I think they're like $60 or I don't even know how much a book of stamps is anymore. But um that's that's the cheapest way. If you want, if you can't afford a lot, the cheapest way is go buy thank you cards at the Dollar Tree. They're a dollar for like a pack of 12. Get like three packs, I don't know, and um, put in like the um, scent of the month brochure in there with a scent of the month um, scratch and sniff sticker and then a couple of felt samples and a... And a um, and if there's someone that's ordered, then send them the scent circles. You, When you close out parties, always get scent circles. You can get them free or use your half-offs on them. But that I always order scent circles. And then you only have to put a stamp on there. So if it's brand new, this is what I do, you guys. If it's someone that's ordered from a party that I don't really know yet, I will send them a thank you card with a scent circle. Unless, unless, through the party, they placed over a $50 order. Then I send them a goodie bag. So I'll be very honest with you guys. I don't send very many thank you cards anymore. I did when I first joined, but now literally 98% of the people that order from me have been ordering since they found out I joined Scentsy. And I get new, like this girl that just ordered, she's ordered three times this month. When I posted that I was $65 away from earning level three of the incentive trip, she placed an order for, I don't even know, some wax and a warmer, I think is what she ordered. I think she ordered a warmer and a couple of the clearance waxes. And then, just the other day, I posted something about how we're getting rid of our fall and winter scents. And she messaged me and she said, um, can you help me pick, in, pick out some more wax since I ordered the warmer? Hey, Mo. Um, and I said, yes. And I, I said, what kind of scents do you like? And she said, I want like comforting and um, bakery is what she told me, but not too sweet. So I sent her a list of like 12 different scents, not expecting her to grab all 12. Um, and she ordered a six pack out of the 12 because some of the ones I sent her, she had already ordered like baked apple pie. She had already, already ordered. What else did she order? There was like three out of the 12 that she had already ordered. So then she just went on and ordered six out of the 12 that I sent her. 
um, just the other day, literally like three days ago. And then I just was set down to do these samples and I seen that I had an order and I checked it and I'm like, holy crap, she just spent 300 and something dollars. Of course, that was with tax and shipping. Um, and I went on and looked, she ordered the air purifier because why? Yesterday in my stories, I talked about the air purifier. I showed my filter, how dirty it was because I changed it out, showed that it takes pods and it makes your house smell amazing. And then, not like literally right before she ordered, I had just posted pictures of my air purifier and the filter. Ew, gross, right? And I talked about all the reasons why our air purifier is amazing. I am stoked because she's the first person that's bought an air purifier for me. And the reason being is because, yes, it's expensive. I understand. It's $250. It's on sale for $225. To me, I'll be honest, I don't think it's expensive because I was looking at air purifiers before Scentsy came out with one. And literally, the one that I was looking at was like $1,000, which was insane. But it did like more square footage, but it was huge too. It wouldn't sit on my table. I'd have to sit it in the floor. So I wasn't going to spend that kind of money. And it didn't take the pods. It didn't make your house smell good. It just purified the air and that was it. So to me, I think our air purifier is a great investment when you guys can afford to close out a party and use um, your credits on it, do it. I'm actually closing out a party today and I'm using my hostess credit and I'm getting one for free. I already put it in. So I'm getting another one for my bedroom. Um, so I'm getting it for free. And then um, I'm grabbing some warmers that I want before the ones that are discontinuing that I've really been wanting um, half off or free. So take advantage of making sure you always have a party link open, you guys, and make sure you share it. I open a new one on the first of every month, and then I normally close it the following month at some point when I see that something new is coming out so that I can use my credits on it or something like that. So... Anyways, I hope this was helpful. Tomorrow, I am going to go live in here, and I'm going to show y'all how I do my labels. So, we'll be in my office, or my husband's office. We share an office, and um, I'm going to show you the labels that I use, and I'm going to actually get on Avery, and we are going to create a label for something that I want to sample next month. So, hopefully, this was helpful by just showing you, like, let me show you. This whole box, I ended up with two boxes of these. I don't know how much I spent. I think they may have been like $10 for a ton of these. And I accidentally ordered the glass. I would recommend getting the plastic ones just so you don't have to worry about them breaking. I thought they were plastic, um, but I ended up with the glass. So I'll send my link to, to from my link tree so that you guys can go look at my Amazon favorites for business supplies. And again, don't feel like you have to do all of this. You literally can get Ziploc bags at the store, at the Dollar Tree even. Put, go to the Dollar Tree and find little bitty things that you can put some of our samples in even. And, and then just write on the bag. It doesn't have to be fancy. So, um, but if you have, and remember, all of this is a tax write-off. Labels, my printer, my ink, my bags. All of this, when I buy things on clearance, Winterberry Apple Tea, I'm seriously thinking about getting some more of that. Um, all of it's a tax write-off because you're using it for your customers, all right? So, I love you guys. I hope this was helpful. I love coming on here and just showing y'all what I'm doing because I will never ask you guys to do something that I'm not willing to do. And I think it's very important as a leader to go live and share what I'm doing um, because I don't want y'all to ever think ever think that I just sit back on the couch and I just wait for you guys to get orders and just kind of like do my own thing and don't work my business because I will promise you I'm the, I'm going to be the hardest working one on the team. I can promise you that. I'll make sure I'm the hardest working one on the team because guess why? Because I want y'all to be the hardest working ones on your team. I want you to be the hardest working person on your team. Because your people, when you start sponsoring, or if you've already sponsored, the girls under you are watching you, and they're going to do as you do. Follow the leader. Now we realize why we had to stand in a line in school and follow the leader, right? They taught us something. So, I love you guys. I hope that you all have a great day. And I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. 
even if I'm not your direct upline, you can still do a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me, okay? I want to see who's going to show up, who really wants this business to work, who wants to, like, talk to me and let me help you and guide you and lead you. Of course, if I'm not your direct upline, you can go to your direct upline and ask them if they will do a one-on-one -on -one call with you. I think it's very important. I'm doing one with Chloe, which is our direct superstar director. I'm doing one with her this month. Um, and I don't do one. I do one like every three to four months with her. So it's important because it keeps me on track. It keeps me, gives me fresh ideas. So I definitely recommend it. Don't be scared. I'm not going to bite you. I promise, at least not too hard. <laughs> But I love you ladies. I'm going to hop off here and get these samples done. And then I am almost done with my checklist today. Um, so I hope that y'all have a great day. And I'll see y'all back on here tomorrow to show y'all how to make labels. Bye.